my name and I am living here in Capel. I uh, live, work, and play here in Capel. I uh, am the uh, market president at Frost Bank and um, I have been in the Get You In Shape program for about a year and three months. Ultimately, I was at a point in my life where I was gaining 10 pounds every decade. And I was thinking that I was really active because I was walking my dog three, four, five times a week. And I considered that to be an active lifestyle. My job keeps me quote unquote running. I'm in and out all the time, but ultimately I did a lot of sitting. So my clothes didn't really fit well. I liked baggier clothes, I called them comfortable. I uh, didn't sleep very well, and honestly, I let other people dictate my menus, and I didn't eat very well at all. I looked in the mirror and looked at many pictures after I became um, mayor of this city. All of a sudden, everybody was taking my picture, and I didn't like what I saw. My friend, across the street neighbor and trainer, at the Get You In Shape program, Julie McCann was a big influence on helping me decide that Get You In Shape might be the right thing. So I did the one month free and decided that I could commit. And it was a very good decision for me. That first day, I, was, I felt very welcomed. The participants and the trainers were all very helpful very understanding that I didn't know exactly what they were talking about. Uh, honestly, I felt a little bit competitive, so I tried to keep up with the people that were next to me. And uh, the next day, I was sore and honestly quite miserable. But I came back the next day, and the next day, um, in that first couple weeks, I was nervous and I was a little uncomfortable. And if I had an opportunity to use the excuse of an early meeting, I took it. And then I felt bad about it. And eventually, I would say after about two months, I decided that my schedule was more important and that working out on Monday, Wednesday, Friday was more important. So I moved my meetings and I made the exercise a priority. Nobody should be taking my time between 5.30 and 6.30 in the morning, but the best tool for me is the trainers. When I had a question, I asked it. When they would talk about a certain muscle that I was supposed to feel and I wasn't, I asked them, okay, I'm doing it wrong because I wasn't feeling it where I was supposed to be feeling it listening to them, talking to them, and allowing them to help me was probably the best tool in the entire toolbox. They also um, talked to me about different tools that for tracking, and for nutrition tracking, and exercise tracking, calorie tracking, those types of things. Got me interested so that I would start looking at other things other than just showing up here. And that is probably one of the most important things. So it, for me, it always comes back to the trainers. You know, ultimately, it's all about the people. Um, the, my fellow participants, the trainers, um, the subtle ways that uh, challenges are made, either from the trainers or the participants. Um, I kind of got conned into cardio club just because my fellow participants were, come on, you can do it, come with me. Uh, the, that overall group feel where we celebrate together when someone reaches a milestone and it, it really is camaraderie. Mm -hmm. And that's the part that I enjoy the most. Uh I react well to consistency, accountability, and being challenged. Starting my day, 5.30 every morning, here in the parking lot, working out, has helped me focus my day. If I've got that to, that I can check off, 
then that starts the balance of my life and I don't want to waste what I have put in for the rest of the day. So I, I watch what I eat, I watch my additional activity during the day, I do, try not to sit too much, I really pay attention to where I am in the moment and trying to make the most of that moment. Uh, that also makes me curious about other things. So I wonder more about the why of how I feel versus just how I feel. So if I'm sore, which happens a lot, especially on squat days, I wonder why I'm sore. Well, I just did 90 minutes of squats seven times and that's why my muscles are sore. That makes sense so I can move on. If I wonder why I'm tired, maybe I didn't eat well the day before. And I'm just paying attention to everything and it helps for the total balance of my life. The proudest moment in the entire Get You In Shape program is the day I re-upped for another year. For me, what that does is that helped me recognize that this is a foundation for me going forward for a healthier me in the future. Initially, I was uncertain on how to define concrete results. So my initial goal was just to be healthier at the end of the year than I was at the beginning of the year. And I can see those big picture results in my clothes fit better, my energy level is constant, um, I feel stronger, I feel um, good all day long. Specifically, when it got right down to it, I didn't really want to make a goal of running faster, you know, doing more squats, those kinds of things, but once you start seeing, you start comparing. And I'm really happy that I can say that I've lost 12 pounds. I've lost about 13 and a quarter inches. That's pretty impressive for me. Um, on a mile, I started off my first mile was 13 minutes and 58 seconds around there. My best time is 10 minutes and 12 seconds. Um, hopefully, um, I will break Still in progress, I'm hopefully I'm going to break 10 minutes before the end of this year. That's my goal. Uh, doing squats, I can do deeper squats. I can actually do a sumo squat now. I couldn't do it a year ago. Those kinds of things help me realize that the day-to-day -day exercises, the day-to-day -day movement, the rep repetition, and working on my muscles has helped me and that is because of consistency and accountability and the way the Get You In Shape program has set those up for me to look at it month after month and see progress.